What's up, my friends? You know what time it is. I am never been more excited about a video than today's video. This is going to change the successful person's life. The, the person who is reaching, who is upgrading, who is moving forward, who is going pro, this, my friend, is for you. Now, if you're just trying to check your schedule down at the Home Depot to see what time free time you have so you can go and chill and smoke with your friends, this video is not for you. You ready? We're going to talk about your time, your life, your reality, okay? What do you want to be? What do you expect out of life? When you close your eyes, this vision that plays over and over and over in your head, these things that you're going to do, how are you going to get there? I'm about to tell you how you're going to get there. First, we need to understand time, your time, your life. Did you know that you can no more go back to five seconds ago than you can five years ago? It's all the same. Five years ago is the same as five seconds ago when it comes to reality. You can no more go into tomorrow than you can go into yesterday. It's all irrelative. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what are you doing right now? And then now. And now. Goals aren't accomplished all at once. A year doesn't just show up and go by. 365 days like that. No. It doesn't even go by day like that. No. It goes by moment after moment after moment after moment after moment. And if you don't like where you are today, you know why? Because you didn't take care of your moments. You let them just go by thinking about soon, one day, in the future, I'm going to do this. We've already discussed that. You're not going to get there. You're not going to get into the future because you're talking about it. No, it is a reality that you live in. It's only the now that you live in. Or am I painting a picture for you? I'm laying a foundation here. The best way to become successful, for one, chop your goal up. I'm talking about success in finance. I'm talking about success in relationships. I'm talking about success in business, success in, success in health, success in your mental capacity, success in your family relationships, friendship relationships, work relationships, your personal relationship with yourself, success, all of it. Okay? So here's the future. Now you got the future in your mind. Okay, listen, if you just pick something small, get out of here. We're picking a future. Th this one my mentor told me. He said, John, he set me down and said, John Fawn, listen, what do you want? That future exists for you. I was like, get out of here. My future don't even exist. He's like, are you going to be here tomorrow? I was like, yeah. Well, don't you think that exists then? It's like, yeah. He's like, did you know you could, you could go right now? and create your tomorrow right now by you can go to the bar and, and drink as much as you can and just drink and drink and drink and uh, wake up tomorrow sick and that is your reality because of the steps that you took just a few moments ago or you can pick a different future you can pick any future you want if you go out and get drunk you pick you're picking the future of a hangover if you do that compounded across time, you're, you're really picking a bad future of health, of relationship problems, time management problems, uh, money management problems, if you compound all these things on, on, a, on a daily basis. So he's like, okay, so, so tell me. He goes, you can have anything you want. What do you want? I mean, he goes, let's start with your body right now. Are you happy with your body? And at the time, I was like, no. I'm 115 pounds. Skinny, pale, white kid. Nobody wants that. He says, well, what, what did you have in mind? Be specific. I said, I don't know, like 14 inch arm, you know, a good arm. I wanted to, you know, I was like, well, start with my arms in. I don't like these little be scrawny, skinny arms. He goes, well, go create your future and you will show up, you will wake up one day in the future with exactly what you want. I was like, get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, today is that future. I'm living in that future. Now, I'm not going to brag on you. But I've got a nice, I'm not going to brag on you, but I've got a nice arm here. He said, what else? 
I said, ooh, six-pack abs. I mean, if I can get anything, let me do anything. He said, what else? I said, uh, I want to rap. I, I want to sell rap CDs. I want to have my own CD. I want to be able to pop my CD in the car. Here's the CDs right here. He says, what else? I said, ooh, uh, a movie. I want to I wanna be in a movie then. I want to act in a movie. I crushed the movie shot right here in Houston will be released in select theaters and this March. I'm the third leading role in that movie. I'm going to tell you how. You take control of your now. That's it. You take control of your now. Well, I don't know how to do that. I'm about to tell you how, tell you how to do it. It starts with a list, okay? We all have the same 24 hours. What does the person that you want to be do on a daily basis, that future you? Is he eating apples? Is people asking him for health advice? Is he, is, does he uh, save his money? Does he get good sleep? Does uh, that person, what's that person do? Start doing those things. Well, that's hard. I know it's hard, especially when you wake up in the morning, you're like, okay, I got 10 things I want to do. Where do I start? Or even worse, I've got 50 things to do. Where do I start? I never, ever, ever, ever wake up in the morning going, what now? Ever. This, my friend, it's called a list. This is just a day. This is today. This was yesterday. First, I write down what do I want to, when I go to bed tomorrow, what do I want to say I did? When I go to bed tomorrow, pick anything. What do you want to say that you did? You put that on the list, and then you say, okay, these are the things I want to do. I'm getting up at 8 o'clock. What am I going to do at 8? 8 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10, 10.30. You don't have to do it in 30-minute increments. You can do it in two-hour increments. It doesn't matter. Depends on, on how small and how, how quick you can get the thing done. I never have, so I, all I have to do is wake up and at 6 a.m. Be grateful. Check. There's hard things on here. Juice. Message 20 people about my CD. Uh, go to the gym. Mow the yard. Put it on a list. I don't forget about it. Now, the beautiful thing of a list is if you forget to do something or you don't get around to doing something, it doesn't get swept under the rug. You realized you marked all this stuff off, except for one thing. In your mind, your body, you won't let you forget about it. Your future exists. You're creating your future. You created your today. Here's the golden nugget, my friend. If you decide, I'm going to be a steward of my time, starting now. I'm making a list now. These are the things I want to do with my day, every day, compounded across time. Because listen, that's what really builds your future. Are you fat? Are you 350 pounds? That didn't happen this morning. You did it, compounded across time. Little by little by little by little by little by little by little. You, you wound up in this future reality, pushing 400 pounds. Going, what happened? Oh, you did it that slow. That's how big it was. Second by 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 second. Once you do the hard thing, it's done. Once you do the lazy thing, it's done. Once you do the easy thing, it's done. You live in the reality of what you did. Do you hear what I'm saying? You always live in reality of what you did. You're unhealthy? That's your fault. You don't have any money? That's your fault. People who are successful take massive responsibility for their actions. Whether you're justified or not in, in your defeat, a really successful person does not carry that around with them. They have no excuses. They have all responsibility. So here we go. You just start being this person. Here's my opinion. If you start being that person today and say, okay, today I made a list, whether you marked it all off or not, I made the list, I marked a few things off, I'm going in tomorrow. If you now, So say you did it yesterday, you did it today, and you're going to do it tomorrow. You, my friend, in my opinion, are now living this successful reality. Now you're at the very beginning, intermediate stages of this. 
but what you have done is drastically change the course of your life by taking control of what? Now. I can't go back to five minutes ago when I started this video. I can't do it. So I'm proud that for the last five minutes, I gave it the best I could. And because I gave it the best I could, I'm going to live in a future where this video gets shared on the internet and liked and commented on. Ooh, I just told you the future, my friend. I'm so confident in the actions that I take that I know how to create the future. I know how to get to arms. I know how to get to abs. I know how to be an actor. I know how to get movies. I know how to make a CD. I can predict the future. Why? Because I wrote it down last night before I went to bed. When I wake up tomorrow in the future, these are the things I'm going to do. And listen, if you don't get it done, it's over. Big deal. You cannot go back to tomorrow no more than you can go back five years ago. It doesn't matter. Take control of your now. Now, say you, say you do this like my, myself. I've been doing this for 34 months working off a list. I took control of my past. Because all that's in the past. I took control of my past. And it's given me this beautiful present. And I'm going to carry that into the future. But you only ever get now. Okay? I'm going to tell you a little bit about a time machine theory. Here's my little time machine theory. Time goes by so fast. This moment right now, you watching this, is already over. This week is nearly 50 years ago. That's how time, that's how fast time goes by. Today's Wednesday. Next Wednesday is going to be here. Actually, next Wednesday, time goes by so fast, next Wednesday is almost already gone. In my eyes, it's already gone. So what kind of past do I want to have that builds this awesome present and future? You choose it. And not making a choice is a choice. Not making a choice is the worst choice you can make. Make a choice. What are you going to do? I don't care. It feels good to mark stuff off a list. I don't care if, if, if you don't have any goals that you know of. Uh, say, I'm going to jump over a broomstick and put the broomstick on the ground. Uh, mark it on your list. I'm going to jump over a broomstick. Jump the broomstick and mark it off your list. It feels good. And what happens is, here's the beautiful thing. Months go by like that. I'm stuck in this reality where I, I can't get out of it if I wanted to. I'm so, I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could just be a hermit and shut down. But I've got a movie to make. I've got CDs to sell. I've got places to travel. I've got airplane tickets to get. I've got auditions to go to. Now I'm so busy with this future that I found myself in. I found myself in this future 34 months ago when the guy said, fine, what did you expect out of life? What did you expect yourself to look like? What did you expect your bank to look like? What did you expect your house to look like? And I started doing what? This. One day at a time. One minute at a time. Just one time at a time. And then go to bed. It's over now. You get up, you do it again, because you can't just rely on what you did yesterday. It'll fizzle. Now what happens is, 34 months goes by, that my reality, my life, is what motivates me. The things that people are counting on me to do motivates me now, keeps me going. It's fun. The funnest part of my night is creating a list. When I go to bed, what do I want to say I did? Let's start doing those things. And the cool thing is, on a daily, there's some things you're supposed to do every day. And you can put them on your list, but after a while, they're just habits. And you can, and there's things I put on my list, gratitude. I give gratitude every day. And it's a habit. However, 
because it's fun marking things off a list. I put gratitude at the top of every single list that I make. Gratitude. Daily lists can go on any type of paper. It doesn't have to be a three ring binder notebook. A list can go on this. I end up having all this scratch paper uh, a few months ago, all these little pink slips. And so I said, well, I can throw them away. But look at here, I mean, Toastmasters, pick out your clothes. Mark it off. Done eating by 12.30. 1.30, workout. 2.45, shower. 3.15, leave. Got it done a long time ago. It's over. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. What's this one say? 5.30 a.m. A.m. Gratitude. Gratitude, my friends. It's easy to do. It's easy to do. Change your life. Meditate. Fitness. Relax. 6 a.m. Go to the gym. Sweat for an hour. 7.15 a.m. Take a shower. I like this. 8 a.m. Famous. Boy, how about putting that on your list one day? Oh, oh, hey. oh that's right. After I take a shower at 8 o'clock, I'm going to be famous. Write it down. Do it. Pick it. Pick it. You know why you don't like your life? If you don't like your life, it's because you didn't pick anything awesome. You went with the flow. The flow sucks. Mercy, my friend. So here's the time machine. Next week is going to go by. What are you going to say? Last week, what, what do you wish you did last week? Don't do that anymore. Don't let your day go by. You know why you don't hit a goal? Because you didn't break it down. Hey, what are you going to do? I'm putting out a CD. Whoop, whoop. Like I said, I'm going to make a full-length album. Full-length album. Dropping 2015. Full-length album. Ah. I would never get there if that was my only goal. So I said, what do I need to do? Okay. I need to get my name out there. If somebody's going to buy my full, full album, I probably should make a demo first. Let me put together a demo. So you pick the main goal and you work it backwards. The main goal, full length album, 2015. Or no, sub goal, raise 2,500 bucks uh, to, to, towards this project. Okay. Well. I can't just show up with $2,500. What do I do? Sell a demo. 500 demos at $5 a piece equal $2,500. Oh, okay, so I need to make a demo. Well, how do I do that? Well, the demo is going to cost money. It's going to cost you a grand. Okay, well, I need to save a grand. How do I do that? I need to find a job. Okay, so how do I find a job? Let me fill out some applications. Well, where do I get the applications? Let me get on Craigslist. Well, how long is it? Let me open up my computer. Let me get my butt out of bed. Before I went to bed, let me create a plan. Then you work the little plan. It's easy to get out of bed and get on Craigslist. Look for a job. Apply for a job. Go to an interview. It's easy to do that. So much easier than creating a full length album 2015. That's not my goal right now. I mean, that's the ultimate goal, but I don't think about that. I'm at the step now where I'm selling 500 CDs. That's the step I'm on. Because I took control of my time. I took control of my day. And I asked myself, what did you expect out of your life? People get so caught up on one thing, though. Especially young entrepreneurs. Boy, I could go through a list of names right now. They're good at one thing, and that's fine. That's great. Can't take that away from me, and I wouldn't want to. But you will learn in time that it's about health, it's about finances, it's about spirituality, it's about family relationships, it's about friendships and relationships, it's about loving yourself. And you'll learn all that. But it starts with taking control of your day. I'm not telling you to take control of your the next 12 months because you never see it. You only get today. Stop. Focus just today. Listen, if you don't have a plan right now for today, chalk this day up to a waste. I'm going to give you permission right now and do one thing today. One thing. Make tomorrow's list. Today's already wasted. You don't know where to start. Make tomorrow's list. 
Put one thing on your list. Put two things on your list. Two good things. The difference between a successful person and an unsuccessful person is an unsuccessful person makes errors in judgment every day. Hamburgers, cigarettes, laziness, procrastination. Every day. That don't matter. Compounded across time. That's what matters. You wind up in a future reality and you say, I suck. But if you're ready for a change, you have to forget about all of that. Make a new plan. Build a new future. Do it today, and then when you show up tomorrow, you can say, I did it yesterday. I'm doing it today, and I'm going to do it tomorrow. And in my eyes, my friends, you're set. You're done. Take control of your day. Life is a time machine. You cannot go back to five seconds no more than you can go back to five years. It doesn't matter. What are you going to do today? My name is Mr. John Fawn. Connect with me on Facebook. Connect with me on YouTube. Don't. I don't do it. You know, I don't care. Do it. I don't care. You always pick your mood, my friend. Now pick a good one. You pick your future. Pick a great one. Subscribe to this channel. Connect. You know what's a beautiful thing? I've connected with uh, nearly 3,000 super positive and motivated people. I did two things with my life. I connected with as many, and I still do it, as many positive, powerful, motivating people as I can. And I cut out all the negativity, which basically means I had to turn off the television. 34 months goes by? I barely know we're at war. I barely know that there's Ebola. I barely know what the Kardashians, I don't know what the Kardashians are doing, but I don't know any of that stuff. I don't care about that stuff. I'm selling CDs. I'm making movies. I'm traveling. I only, I don't have to make this video, guys. I do it because I care. I do it because I want to see everybody make a change. I do, okay, listen, I'm got, I gotta go. <sighs> Take control of you now. Do it for yourself. Do it for your future. Do it for your family. Talk to you later.